how are all of you guys doing today? Hello. Time to get our gourmet attempts in preparation for Ken at home stretch. Yes. Back again for another Saturday stream, Irene. Thank you so much for the warm welcome, meowing. Oop, and I realize I'm too tall today because of my hat, so I'm going to tilt this up just a bit. I've grown a whole five inches thanks to my chef hat. And um, oh my goodness, before I forget, uh, ah, Space Bubble Knot, thank you so much for the five tier one subs. I believe that came in 21 minutes ago, and I'm so sad that I didn't get to say thank you 21 minutes ago, but thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, nice hat, thank you. How are you guys doing today? Hello, hi Adam. Hello, Rota, hi Frank and Lou. Did I say hi to Zilver already? Sometimes I like can't tell if I said it in my head or not, so I might say hi twice. So I'll just say hi twice. Hi Zilver. <laughs> hi Mex, hi MZ. Too tall. Yeah, this actually, I should, I should wear it more often because this is a good seven inches. <laughs> oh, hey, you misses, hi. Run, misses, hi. Hi, Russ. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. Hi, Fly Speedy. Instinct rules. Hi, Landheart. Hi, Teal Story. Okay, guys, are you excited today? I am excited that we are going to be cooking like somewhat of a fancy dish. <clears throat> oh, by the way, is the music a little too loud? I can't tell. Jay Blair, thank you so much for redeeming Wulu. I'll grab him in just a second. But yes, I am super excited that we are cooking up. First of all, a fancy dish because I've never like gone through the plating process and like, or not never, but it's been a while since we cooked something that's like more gourmet. I feel like for a while we've been going with comfy, delicious meals. John, thank you so much for the six months. Ah, oh, six months, thank you. And so today we're gonna go for something fancier. And on top of that, we never cook seafood because I'm kind of scared to cook seafood and I don't cook with them often and also like I I'm like more of a land animal type of person but today we're gonna experiment with seafood so it's gonna be good and let me grab I I did it for okay. Everything's connected. Internet's going great. I didn't forget to charge anything, but apparently Wulu broke the stream. So he may become banned again. But J Blair, here's to wishing you a wonderful day. And um is my camera too bright? Maybe that's part of the world. Is this better? I don't want to be blind in anyone. Okay, I think this is a little better. Ooh, kick the Mac. I know, he kicked something. We're back. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what happened. I feel like there was a little blurb in the internet over here. One getting fired again. And he's like, I didn't do anything. Ew. <laughs> okay, well, that's too bad, Bulu. Um, Because it was too much of a coincidence. How does my stream just break? When everything's plugged in, when you show up, that's a sign. And like, you haven't showed up in forever. I'm just kidding. Don't blame other people, Bubbly Corn. That's a bad habit. <laughs> Great start. I know, right? I've never had to do that at the start of a stream either, so. 
I don't know what happened. Wulu break the stand, strand. Yeah, maybe Wulu was angry and then he was like, This is what happens when you don't let me on to stream for a long time. We get angry and I'm gonna mess up your stream. So make sure you invite me more often. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna also... Uh, I, I'm gonna also put my chef hat down for a second because I realize it's going to be pushing down on my bangs. Do chefs actually really wear their chef hat like 100% of the time when they're cooking? Because it's kind of heavy. Salmon stack kind of looks like a breadless fish burger. What? No, this is much fancier than the than the breadless fish burger. This is going to have multiple layers. It is going to have a garlic mashed potato base, green beans on top, and then a what whiskey based glaze. We are going to throw some Jack into the mix. Jack Daniel into the mix. Put that right. Actually, I can't. A ghost of Jack Daniel. Ghost of Jack Daniel past right there if you in a proper restaurant your chef hat will beat you up if you risk hair in his food oh uh, your head chef will beat you up if you risk uh, that's so true you should probably not put your hair like this in a restaurant that's what a chef has for to keep your hair back whiskey huh getting sauced up early for lunch yeah, we're gonna, we only, apparently, we only need a third cup of whiskey, so the rest of it, we can't let it go to waste, so we gotta just go, go, no, I'm just kidding. I wish I could, but then if I did that, I would probably stream would also have another blurp. <laughs> 30 red, Hi, hello. The menu looks good. Aw, oh, thank you! Man, you look good. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Irene Chat. Do you know if Jeannie and Henry are doing okay? Um, I have not had the chance to chat with them. I'm sure they are taking care of the situation because they have ran into... It's not always smooth sailing for, for people's YouTube channels and um, they are remedying it right now so i wouldn't be too too concerned but yes they appreciate all the well wishes you're sending them okay well guys channel was restored oh whoa there you go zodinka has the latest and greatest channel has been restored okay guys so we are going to start um now for a fancy dish, we are going to be not mincing our garlic, but we're going to be baking our garlic. So let's grab a whole head of garlic. Hello, I'm doing good. Yeah, oh, I think silver. Yeah, I wish I could tell you guys more, but, but it's not that Jeannie and I are like, estranged sisters as you guys know from when we hang out but genuinely just because of their work schedule i don't get to connect with her over the phone like every day um so i stay as updated as you guys do i follow her on twitter too and i go on her discord to figure out is her stream canceled today or is her stream like you know pushed back today so you guys are getting the latest and greatest do this for two of the garlic pieces because um, I just don't know if this will do. So, Elizon, thank you so much for redeeming. Sip your water. Let me grab some water. You know what? Since we're in a gourmet kitchen, I'm going to drink water from a fancy glass. We have some spring mountain water over here. Uh, it is 20 years aged from the coast of Italy. 
And cheers! Thank you so much for redeeming Sip Your Water in Liaison. Wait. Alright, got you gotta hear the glass clink. Whoa. Hi. Vodka? Yes, I am sipping on vodka first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh, there was a redeem for bubble one. I'm so sorry. I missed it? How could I? Oh, Jay Blair. Jay Blair, that's illegal. You can't, you can't, you can't get a... Well, that's not illegal because I didn't set it up to be illegal. But, okay, Jay Blair, here we go. Jay Blair, I hope you have a wonderful week stuffing this bubble wand with a lot of happiness and good wishes. And here's to a terrific week for you. Oh... Okay, not too bad. Yeah! Vodka redeem. Vodka is water in Russia. Oh my goodness. Vodka is water in Russia. Well, then I would be in the hospital. Okay, wait. Um, ah, vodka, comrade proud. Oh shoot! What if someone from Russia actually finds out that this is not vodka? It is vodka. This is vodka, but it is 0% proof. Zero proof. Make a wish. AG1069, what is your wish? Let me grab the can. Is your wish that this dish actually turns out decent? I hope so. I hope it turns exactly like the picture. Oh, okay. Let me know your wish, sir, and then we got a big candle today, so feel free to have like a gigantic wish because we are pulling out the monster candle. Zero percent alcohol. Yeah. Cause why not? Are you trying to sway the wish? Oh no, I would never, I would never make you guys, I would never sacrifice your guys' wish. Only sometimes, sometimes, when I do get like bubble wand messages and stuff. Oh, by the way, you're not supposed to peel this, so that was my mistake. Ooh, this doesn't look good. There's like a million green eyes. Oh, I need to put the overhead camera. Aw, Aj Tam, thank you so much for making that sweet, sweet wish. Let's all light the giant candle and put our hands together and send positive prayers. Ready? It is lit. Okay, well, here is to wishing that Jeannie and Henry, but I guess Aj Tam primarily said Jeannie, so I'm just kidding. I'll have Henry do it. <laughs> that they do well and they are able to resolve this without heartache. So, here's to wishing them all the best. There we go. Oh my goodness, What what is this? Are you guys like testing if I can like, if I can meet all the point redemptions properly? Well, 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 let me tell you, I'm going to. I'm going to fulfill all of my point redemption or like, are you guys just have way too much points to use and don't know what to do with them? Okay, well, Pants, thank you for redeeming one minute in Korean. Ta, from Pants, got Pants, Dimi, 한국말로 말한 걸 요청하셨고요. 그러고, Bubbly Corn Masker 요청하셨어요. Okay, Bubbly Corn Masker를 쓴 지는 꽤 돼서 약간 불안하지만 갖고 내려볼게요. 잠시만요. Oh, 
좋은 시간 잘 보내시고 계시나요? 어머 또 있어? 스낵구스? 어? 스낵구 이렇게 먹을 수 있나요? 어? 이렇게 먹을 수 있어요! 한꺼번에 이러시면 어떻게 해요 여러분? 플라이스 비에이! 아! 오케이 알았어요 그러면은 Snacko to book is in the hood, you know, like you, this actually it's possible to eat a Snacko through the bubble corn mask. Are you guys doing this on purpose? Are you guys trolling me? Let me grab a Snacko. Okay, ah! Which Snacko to eat? what I'm going through right now, the snacko finding journey. Okay. The snacko happened to be on the top drawer. Okay, how do I open this? Okay, this is a chocolate chip cookie from Korea. Chocolate chip. And it's called Chuk Chuk Chocolate Chip because it is very moist. And so we're going to eat one of these as our snacko. Chip Chuk. And my goal is to eat this through the bubbly corn mask because I've worked out with this before, I've played a flute with it before, but I have never eaten a snacko with this before. So this is the moment you realize that the bubbly corn actually can eat a snack. Twist my hand and do the cookie dance. It's a delicious chocolate chip cookie, yeah. One last bite. Mm. Okay, Irene, you must return. Okay. Ooh, okay. Far longer than one minute, I think. What? Oh wow! I think we accomplished the mission. I accomplished the mission. You guys thought you would throw me off with all those point redemptions, but see how I handled it like a champ? Did I miss anything? No, don't tell me I missed anything. I, I'm scrolling to make sure I didn't. Nope, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, we did it! Oh. There is a video of a kid wearing a Spider-Man mask and eating a, a Coolie biscuit. It's quite funny to watch. Really? What's a Coolie biscuit? Does it crumble a lot? Mm. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah. I was setting up my phone. Irene powered through success. Yay! <laughs> mm. 
Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Best feeling. Best feeling when you're like able to tackle the missions and able to tackle them like simultaneously and multitask while you do it. And actually, it's really fun because you guys somehow end up redeeming wishes that are fun in combination with each other and work well in combination with each other. Kind of questionable sometimes, like the summon snackos and the bubble corn mask. Did you do that on purpose? I feel like you might have, but. <gasps> Boomer Russ, thank you so much for the 12 months, a whole year. Woohoo! Hey, yeah! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Okay, here is our garlic. And this is what I was talking about. There's there's a little ice on the garlic. I don't think that's the greatest, but that's okay. Right? I mean, I think it just makes the garlic more bitter, but oh, this isn't good. Some of them are really not good. Okay, so we'll take out the ones that are really not good. Like this one is really not good. Okay, but the rest of them are okay, right? Or should I take out the green? I'm going to roast these garlic. Do you guys think I should take out the green pieces? Plant it to make more. Oh, pretty much. I, I, it could probably just grow out right now. It's starting to grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Or not a problem usually. Okay, so Connor and Sheeta says it's okay, so we're just gonna go with that. I heard it just would recommend removal. Yeah, I heard that it's okay to eat. It just tastes a little more bitter, so we'll rec remove the green. Okay, well, time for surgery. Okay, this kind of sucks because they are supposed to be in their shells roasting. But it's like, okay, well, I have a question. So I'm making roasted garlic. So what's worse? Remove, not having the stems removed or not having it in the, not having it in the, um, ha not having its peel on. Not poison, but not yummy. Oh. Oof, your nails, awesome. Thank you, yes, I just did my nails yesterday. Oh, that's so interesting, I didn't know. So it depends on how ripe they are, I guess. Yeah, so what do you guys suggest? If I'm gonna be roasting them, do I still remove the green? I don't know the recipe. Well. I'm making garlic mashed potatoes, so I'm just going to be like putting this in tin foil and roasting them. You can roast them, then remove them, I think. Oh, 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 sorry. I read your, yeah, pants is like, could you please read my messages in order that I send them instead of like bottom up? Okay, that sounds good, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. So, we will just wrap these up in foil. If you only want the taste, you can leave it unpeeled. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So we have these garlic, little garlic bombs, and um, we're gonna put them into the oven uh, at 400 degrees to 40 to 45 minutes. But I think it's kind of crazy to just put these two in the oven at 400 degrees for just these two pieces of garlic. Like I feel like that's wasting way too much electricity. So I'm gonna put it into the air fryer, but I'm gonna put the air fryer mm, upstairs so that it's not like burr in your ears. Whoa, 
Well, is that dangerous if I put it upstairs because then it's not supervised? Wait, are you allowed to have foil in air? Yes, you're allowed to have foil in air fryer. You just can't have paper that's gonna burn. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna put in the two little garlic bombs. Maybe not upstairs, I should supervise this. So I'll put this in the living room. Okay, that's gonna go for 20 minutes while we prepare the rest of our dish. Unpeeled, only cracked garlic. Oh, really? I didn't know there's so many people who don't like garlic. How could this be? Okay. Uh -huh. Air fry is automatic. Should be fine on its own, but check in from time to time. Yes, I have set it to like where it's 20 minutes. You need something? Yeah. What? Uh, in what form? Which one should I consume it? Do you want coffee? Uh, I'll just take black tea. Where is black tea? Where is black tea? I don't know where the... I don't know. Oh, I don't think we have black tea. Oh, we do in one of the blocks. Oh, well, this part doesn't come out, so you can, you can go, you can go search there. Which ziplock? I don't know which ziplock. But this side not because the camera just cuts off here at the door. Which ziplock? I think it's the middle one. Which middle one? Like which shelf? Middle shelf. Middle shelf. There's this empty ziplock. And that's the only ziplock right there. Can Hi, Dennis. Do green tea? Get your own coffee, Lil. Yeah. There's black tea in there. In here? We got no black tea here. Dennis redeeming caffeine. He doesn't have enough points. <clears throat> Whoa, when did this go up there? Um okay, 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 okay. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah. So that's going. Yo Dennis, you goofball. We know your face. You don't have pants on or what? Kev Right? But I swear, I can't, I can't, I, if you can find it, I'll be very surprised because I really can't find it. <laughs> Touche pants. Okay, so, what was I, what was I, what was I, oh yes. So first we gotta season the salmon. The salmon is gigantic, <laughs> right? It's not there. Here, I'll boil water then. It's here. It's clearly ticket. Oh, yeah, that is clearly not in the drawer. We have a 
giant piece of salmon. You actually, the recipe called for like a thin slice of salmon, like a thin slice, but bigger. But I don't know why in the grocery store, I think it's because like you have to go to Whole Foods or someplace nicer. Or I'm not saying Ralph's ain't nice. I'm saying Ra Ralph's is good. I love Ralph's. But I couldn't find like the thick, you know, like cut of salmon. So this is what we're going with. So this is what we're going with. Okay, I'm going to put on gloves because I'm scared of touching fish. hear the background music huh if you're making a soup or stew the green parts of garlic is fine for anything else you can remove it if you don't like the bitter taste ah that's good to know we hear oh you hear oh shoot I made the music too loud then there we go Okay, so let's take out the salmon. Whoa, oh, hey, I take that back. There is this little flat part that makes it longer. So it, this is actually very good. This is wonderful. <gasps> oh, what? Oh my goodness, ah! Conrad Shito, thank you so much for the 10 dear one subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't do this with fishy hands, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, well. Oh, but it's much better now. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, well, what a hack. Never gonna get why people are scared to touch many things in the kitchen. If you cook, roast everything afterwards, all bacteria will. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not the reason I'm scared. Oh, shoot. I'm not scared of that. I'm scared of the, like, the texture and the, the feeling. Because look, now it's like a fish. Like, I mean, do you guys go fishing? I feel like I can't go fishing because I can't touch the, the, the meat. Look, Chuggishu, look how, I caught a salmon. I caught a wild salmon! Okay. Cup, right? Yeah, can I get the biggest cup you see? Biggest cup I see? Yeah. Okay, well, this one's the biggest one. Is this this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very hot. Careful. Are you about to go to war or something? You came out and you're like, I need caffeine! And then you're like, can I get the biggest mug you see? Drink water. <laughs> oh my goodness. Decent sized fish fillet, right? But yeah, I can't, I'm just scared of touching fish. Like, mm. where's your cute apron? Oh, my apron is, where's my apron? Is it in the washer? I think it's, I think it's perhaps in the washer. Okay, so to this, we're gonna add some seasoning. Where'd it go? Oh yeah. Uh, some of this. Some of this. Um, they recommended a lot of different seasoning that I do not have at home and don't know that I would use super often. So I've just decided to go with seasoning that I think would go well with the glaze and that we like. So grab some Cajun seasoning, yes, and some garlic powder, yes. Mm, the more, the better. Uh, some salt, definitely, yes. I don't know why I'm saying yes so strange. Uh, what else? What else can we put on there? Where's the paprika? Who 
took the paprika. Some crushed red peppers, yes. Some cayenne pepper, no, 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 we don't want to kill ourselves. Chili powder, yes. spices because I just feel like the more you put on the the more sophisticated and gourmet it gets. Probably not true but that's just theory I'm go working with today. Okay so we're gonna put in I don't like touching right Kevin? Is this me or is the salmon very lean looking? I usually see them with more fat. Oh really? Oh I see what you mean. Yeah, usually there's more of that white fat portion. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle some oil. Ooh, give the salmon a massage. MZ took your paprika. Really? Does MZ love paprika? Okay, give the other side a quick massage as well. Okay, and then we're going to start seasoning and go in order so that we don't miss anything. Actually, I'm gonna skip the pepper flakes because we can put that into the sauce later. So we'll put on some salt. Okay, great. And some smoked paprika, because why not? Oh, this is so fun. I feel like a I feel like a chef. Oh! Okay, no chefs don't definitely don't do that. Okay, if you messed up then just you know, put it on other portions of the fish. It's just happy little spices, no mess, no mistakes. Wow, that's a lot of paprika. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then some chili powder. All of these are gonna add to like a smoky sweet flavor that's going to go well with the glaze. So that's why I've opted for these spices. Smokes of paprika can never be enough. I agree. I feel like they go well with so many, so many dishes. It's one of the versus like, I think if you make it too spicy, then you might end up kicking yourself in the butt. Who do you call when all of your cured salmon is stuck in the freezer? Huh. I need to know the answer. The locksmith, oh my goodness. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's such a good one. Oh my gosh, I'm very impressed. That's very funny. <laughs> Hate to spoil the P.O. Box gift, but it would remedy your caffeine supply situation. <gasps> really? Oh. <laughs> I've just been, um, I haven't been able to go like the past couple of days because I'm, I'm like working for, uh, like a deadline that I have to meet for a specific video, which I'm like, need to edit and get out by tomorrow night. <laughs> I should have done it. I should have worked in advance, but oh my gosh, I'm ever more excited to see the box. Adam, I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh. You know me too well. Okay, this is great. Once your fish is starting to look a little more, having some color on it, 
Then it looks like we are cooking up, we are properly seasoning a fish. And this is garlic powder. So garlic powder, you can, you know, be generous with. Oh, this is so fun. I guess this is why people cook fish because you get to go through this process of massaging all of the, the different spices onto the fish. Okay, and then some Cajun seasoning. I love Cajun seasoning. It makes everything sound good. Kind of looks dirty on stream. Yeah, it does look like it, it, it has a bunch of dirt on it, but it's smoky. That's what it is. Okay, and in my opinion, you can never have too much of Cajun seasoning, actually. So I'm gonna go... <coughs> I'm gonna about to sneeze. Oh, I guess you can have <laughs> too much Cajun seasoning. <coughs> oh my goodness. And then lastly, we're gonna add some lemon pepper to it, because it says it goes with everything. That's a lot. Yes, it's a lot, but... This one's new. Scotto opens it. No! Chagishi, could you help me open this, please? Lemon pepper sauce. I assume you're eating the salmon over a few days. That's enough to feed a small army. I. It is, right? It was just $10. my nail already. <gasps> it's lemon pepper. It smells weird. Oh, it smells very lemony. Okay, so use it in moderation. Okay, so that will add a little <coughs> pizzing to it. And now we just do that all over again to the other side. Oh shoot, no, 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 we weren't supposed to do that. We were supposed to seal the seasoning with a little added olive oil. I don't think this is supposed to take this long. The, sh the YouTube video that I watched um, made it look very easy. I think she did it in like 30 seconds. It's taking me way too long. But I'm just putting in extra love. Sodium level, it's, oh, no way. Huh? No one? Oh no. Oh, the sag is for the nail. Yum. I just did it yesterday. Oh, wait, whoops. We already did that. Okay, so no need to solve the other side. I actually don't know if doing seasoning the other side does anything because... Oh, shoot. Because um, it has skin on it? Huh? You don't season the side with skin? Oh, okay. So me, maybe, maybe not. <gasps> Hello, hair very fearsome. Did I say hairy fearsome? <laughs> oh, I usually mix the salt and oil and just, oh, that's smart. That would be much easier and faster. Yes, agreed. Okay, I think this is pretty good. And we're going to let this marinate in the fridge for a wee bit. I don't know how. Oh, I guess this will work. I'll just put a plastic wrap on it. Okay, here we go. Blair. 
Thank you for redeeming. Sip your water. Yes, usually just the flesh gets... Do you have recipe on hand? Oh, well, the recipe, actually... I do have the recipe, but um, it, it actually, in the YouTube video, her salmon didn't have the skin on it. So she did end up doing it just on the flesh. So then I guess it wasn't worth seasoning the other side. That's okay. We'll just put extra glaze on it. Okay. Okay, okay. Remember to season the oven. Our oven has been seasoned since we live in a apartment oven. Apartment oven? We don't live in the oven. We live at an apartment. It has been very seasoned by all those who have come before us. Air fryer is done. Oh, how'd you know? How'd you guys know? Did you guys hear a ding or something? That's perfect, that's perfect because now we can make our garlic mashed potatoes. Okay, let's put some of the spices away. Oh, you guys heard the ding. I have a very good sense of hearing. You say that your ears are dead. Well, I diagnose that your guys' ears are spectacular and very healthy. You live in what? Yeah, we live in a little oven. You guys not feel it very warm and comfy in here? Okay, time to now cook potatoes. So in order to cook our mashed potatoes, we're going to do red potatoes. And they said that this recipe calls for um, 10 small red potatoes, but that sounds like a lot of potatoes because look how big this potato is. Do you think this counts as a small potato? I feel like 10 is a lot of potatoes. The potato army will be mashing it very shortly after that. <laughs> oh, no, it's a medium. This is a medium? Oh, okay, so then then medium is probably twice the size of a small potato. But then I also do need to have enough potato to stack everything on. But I also don't want to overdo it. So how about six? Does six sound good? I think six sounds. Six, six, six is a good amount of potatoes. Kind of small. More potatoes? Dark Cloud really likes potatoes. Don't you think six, go, six would be good enough for two people? How do you, how do you usually make mash, Irene? Well, hmm, I don't make it too frequently, but the times I have made it, I would like it white Yukon potatoes and peel them so that they would be like smooth, very creamy potatoes. But then this time we're going with the coarse, chunky, skin on red potatoes. So, my first time must be small potatoes because the stimmer is small so need some of them <laughs> no i'm not that small my hand is normal size it's just my like vertical size is kind of small i think six is good should be good amount for two people oh thank you conrad conrad has blessed the potato portion in gonna rinse this real quick Ah, the potatoes. 
potatoes have come out of the bath. And um, I think I should, even though it's skin on. I think I should peel off maybe the... So actually, oh, I have a question for those of you who have made potatoes before. Um, so if you're gonna do skin on mashed potatoes, are you supposed to get rid of all these divots and stuff before you cook them like these? Do you need to get rid of all of those? I like using to write a mm, ricer for making my mashed potatoes, but I'm very Irish and just love potatoes almost every way. Oh, yeah, potato ricer makes it extra crispy. No, no. Oh, you don't need to? So you can, I can just leave all this in? Okay, well, if you guys say so. I don't know if you're saying no to my question, but. Just cut them up. Okay, okay, sounds good. I'll just chop them up. That makes my life a lot easier. So we'll just chop them up. Whoa! Potato, why you run away? Is it because you heard it that we're gonna chop you up? Okay, well, it's your fate. I'm sorry. Okay, let's chop up the potatoes. Got it! <laughs> Stream complete, yes. We have... One of the ingredients have has ran away to the kitchen floor. Our stream is complete. I know you guys were doubting. Is she bubbly corn? I don't know why. Nothing's being dropped on the ground. Very fishy. Very suspicious. But it had you. It's not an iron cooking stream when there's food on the floor. Yeah. Thank goodness for Swiffer Swipe. What'd we do without them? Just blow the hair off if they're in your stuff. Potatoes have hair? What? I didn't know that. I guess that makes sense because Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story, or like they sell those things where you can gra grow grass from potatoes. I was kayaking up a salmon river once and got stuck. I ran out of energy and was starving. I luckily found some fish eggs and got energy. I needed to row back <laughs> Oh my goodness, you are quite the punster ankle. <laughs> wow. Salmon row is the best row. Actually, no, I'm kind of, salmon row is a little too big and intimidating for me. Suspicious. <laughs> It is very suspicious. Oh, the hair on potatoes is just roots, no? Oh, okay. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, these are for where the roots grow. That makes sense, where the roots grow. It's just a skin, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, because I think on red potatoes, the, the skin actually gives it a lot of flavor. So, is it just me or on camera, do these look like apple slices? And look makes me look like I'm going to make an apple pie. Should I just say it's apple so that whoever joins from this point on thinks this is an apple? Okay, guys, so the apple pie is coming along great. These crisp apples are looking delicious. Let me just try one. I'm just kidding. I, I think I would probably fail to convince anyone within the first five minutes because I wouldn't want to take a bite of raw potato. It's apple taste a slice. Exactly. Someone would definitely say that. And it would be pants. She beat me to it. Right? I can read your guys' minds. I can read your guys' every step. Oh, speaking of reading minds. Has anyone watched the new Matrix movie? I realize I haven't heard anything about it. Is it good? 
I haven't watched the original Matrix, so I guess that is blasphemy, but um, yeah, I, I was wondering. Yes. Not yet. Mm. Nope. Oh, you guys haven't seen it. Okay, a lot of people haven't seen it yet. Okay, well, who said yes? Jay Blair, you saw it? How was it? Was it good? No spoilers, guys, by the way. I kind of liked. Oh, nice. Just watch the originals. Yes, I definitely need to watch the originals before I watch this one. But I'm watching if this one is worth watching because then, like, I don't know if I should put in my time to watch the originals. It's out? I think so. I think it came out. It was supposed to come out a little bit ago. It, it Did it not? I heard it sucked. Too meta. Oh. Yeah, when it gets too, too much, then it just requires, like, a 5,000 brain to interpret it. And then it's... Hard to follow. Oh, really? That sucks. I haven't heard any good things about it. Aw. That's a disappointment. Aw. It, and it was like so... Um, it's been so long since the original movie. So I thought it'd be exciting to see what it would look like to see like modern cinema and technology add to it but i guess that made it sometimes i i think when you have that expectation on you that okay well for this matrix we have to show really what we can do with like cg and all these extra um technology that we have then like it gets a little like people could get a little like carried away with showcasing all of that and then it could like kind of overdo it and take away from the story or whatever you're watching it could be too distracting high expectations yeah that's tough matrix 4 is a critique of matrix 4. what what wait what okay now my mind is just confused matrix 4 is critique of Matrix 4. Hmm. Try that first. Yeah, I, I definitely heard that the first Matrices, Matrix, were good. Could have been overhyped. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, it could also be that it was overhyped too. So, Okay, now we put all these. I'm glad we stuck with six because now it looks like a lot more now that we have uh, put them Okay, let's put them in a pot. Oh, so they pulled the Avatar. That movie was first big one when 3D cinemas blew up. It was okay, but overhyped. I, yeah, I was actually quite disappointed. I don't know if we're talking about the same one, but the live action Avatar. <laughs> Why? 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 That was my reaction the majority of the time when I was watching. <laughs> Unless we're talking about the diff a different version of it. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Oh wow, that's pretty. And I like the first three. Oh wow, okay, okay. Mmm. Rough. Rough. Always like that. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you're when you're trying to bring some animations to live action because there's a lot of expectations. There's high expectations. The first Matrix is so worth a view. Real good. Okay, I need to watch it. I just, I just feel like the Matrix is something where you have to prepare yourself to be very focused on the movie so that's why I've been like delaying watching it because I need to sit down fully concentrate on the movie and be ready to uh just follow the whole I guess matrix through you know so that's why it was a little intimidating but currently enjoying cyberpunk 2077 a lot and I'm sad that it's kind of fell victim to overhype and pressure that comes with it. Oh, cyberpunk. Is that a, is that a, that sounds really familiar. Is that a game? 
Bleached life? There was a bleached life? That's kind of cool. Well, that's very cool because I watched all of Bleach. I like that movie. Oh, wait, fire. Okay, we're going to go put the fire on the stove. Put the, put the potato on the stove. I need to correct myself. It's a great game, actually, but not that was promised and expected. Oh. That's, that's always disappointing, especially if, if there was hype built by the developers and you were expecting something because developers were saying it and that's what was expected and that doesn't come out, then it's kind of disappointing. If it was hype due to like speculation, it's like, okay, it's still disappointing, but it's like, what? I thought I was going to get this, but it didn't. It's a game that also stars Keanu Reeves. Oh! Keanu Reeves. Oh, he's a character in it. Oh, interesting. Fall straight into the grave. Oh, that's pretty. Really bad. OTS, really bad. Oh, wait, wait. OTS. Oh, I gotta get. Okay, OTS. Online technology space. OTS, really bad. No. Optimize travel sensors. Mm, over train super mm. oh that's a typo oh my goodness that's a <laughs> MZ I <laughs> I was guessing that for a solid like while <laughs> okay so I gotta cook the potatoes for 20 or 30 minutes so let me just set the alarm for 30 minutes 30 minutes, here we go. That I don't forget because we are going to be multitasking. Okay, well, now I'm there. <laughs> offline travel service. <laughs> that one's very convincing. You know what? We're gonna make our own acronyms, okay? We can have our own acronyms. Why? We, we can be part of the internet and invent acronyms. You, I actually wonder, those acronyms that people use or those you know in short or not not just acronyms but what do you call it like lol or 07 for for what do you call this salute like who comes up with it who came up with it how do they spread some individual must have come up with it or f for dying or yeah those kind of things we should come up with it we should come up with something. Emojis, yes. Oh, didn't people mod Cyberpunk to have... Whoa! I guess you can make it very adult, too. Do they give you mod kits for a lot of the games? That's interesting. It reminds me of the days when Genie created mods, too. I don't know how she did it though. I think it's really cool to be able to like modify and create your own character. That sounds very scary, but at the same time, it sounds very fun. F was to pay respect in game, yes. Pop culture mostly. Oh, so then celebrities have to do it first, not anyone can do it? Aw, darn. I was thinking like we could all start something. <laughs> and then just use it everywhere in chat and then people will start catching on. Okay, so ooh, we got to make the little mixture, the little milk mixture for the mashed potatoes. Oh, mods are usually developed independently to add or enhance certain aspects in an already made game. I see. Fun fact, the first recorded mention of OMG was Winston Churchill. No way. But I'm sure he meant it, meant he probably said it in a very holy way. Instead of us are like, oh my gosh, have you guys seen the latest mashed potatoes? They're very on point. He probably was like, oh my God, thank you for delivering. I don't know. 
but not not the way we use it today. But yeah, I I heard stuff like that too, like um, hip, or that's so that's so. Like Shakespeare used it first. Jack Daniel, thank you so much for the twelve months. Jack Daniel, I have something for you. <gasps> Ah, uh, yay! I was hoping you would show up because we're cooking with Jack Daniel today. What do you know? <laughs> You're here! <laughs> oh, yay! That just made my day! <laughs> oh. Drink yourself? Mm, no, I can't. Well, we're gonna put plenty of this in the sauce. Okay, well got distracted okay so we got to we got to microwave a couple things so for the mashed potato we are going to put a quarter cup of butter half cup of milk and quarter cup of heavy cream I'll collect those okay okay here we go here we go Now drink yourself. Oh, now I, I, I got it. Sorry, you were saying that to Jack Daniel. Yes. Yes, 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 Jack Daniel. Jack Daniel has teleported here. Okay, so it says quarter cup. Yay, Jason, thank you so much for the cheer. Da, da, da. A cheer, a cheer. Okay, I think this is a quarter cup. Yes, this is a quarter cup of butter and half cup of milk. We've got some whole milk. Totally have and I'm ready for a great time cooking. Oh, yay! Jack Daniels taking the drink for us on behalf of me because I can't. Ooh, but... I, I've realized I'm not completely allergic. I don't think, maybe. I turn super, super red, but I can drink one glass of wine. But I do turn into a cherry tomato. So I don't know what would happen if I drank a Jack Daniel. Uh, yeah, the butter. I'm scared, it's too big on the screen. Okay, well let me make it bigger. There we go. Enjoy that butter. Mm. Hmm. There's no way to open this. Oh, there we go. Jack is fine. What happened to Jack? Take a small sip or taste for the content, you know? <laughs> I would if I don't need to go someplace after this. There's a simpler way, but okay. No, I, this one didn't have, so usually there's a little perforation here so that you could just peel off the pole, but they forgot to put it in. Perhaps I'm just blind. And yeah, there may be simpler ways, but... Which kitchen are you in? You're in the bubble corn kitchen. We just like to make everything harder on ourselves, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. This ain't that much butter. Does it look like a lot? It actually looks smaller on screen than it does in real life. That's why I'm just... Does it look bigger here? No. Nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, just imagine it's gigantic. Uh, we need... How much? We need a quarter cup. We need a quarter cup of heavy cream and a half cup. So we'll use a quarter cup so that we can do less dishes. Um, so for the heavy cream, we need a quarter cup. Roughly. And we need half 
cup of milk. So two of these. Two. Whenever I hear English speakers measure, I think they literally cut a cup in four pieces. I mean, yes, Germans do it same, but to me it sounds weird. Really? So instead of quarter cup, what do you say? Should the butter be cold or melted? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I'm getting the eerie feelings over. It says... It says softened butter. I don't think that was softened. Butter, could you please melt your heart and be softened? No! Well, I'm gonna be microwaving this, so hope it softens quickly. Oh shoot, maybe I should take off the butter and chop it a little so that it softens. Um, one head of garlic, one to half teaspoon of salt and pepper. Okay, we can salt and pepper later. should go in the fridge oh shoot oh shoot what do i do do you think this will melt in the fridge or should i take it out and chop it uh, we cliff is that what what we cliff what does that mean we carefully carefully lightly inch forward we carefully lightly inch forward in stealth mode i don't know what to do with the butter what do i do with the butter it's not softened that's not heavy cream you can pick it up very easily <laughs> uh, um, oh that's quarter cup virta tasse uh. chat loves irene from oh J That, 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 uh, I died, I died of your sweetness. What did I say? Carefully, lightly, inch forward? <laughs> Yours is much sweeter. That's not gonna melt at the fruit. Oh. Just lift the butter up and chop it. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, here we go. Butter has taken a milk bath. I'm gonna grab a plate. Thank goodness for disposable plates. Yeah. Okay. No problemo. We just we we can take the butel out. We can take the butel out and chop it up. Put in another bowl and microwave for 15 seconds. That's a smart idea. Okay, I will chop this up and then microwave it a bit for 15 seconds and hopefully it will melt. Or it will soften at least. Get off the knife! Ooh, it smells like butter. Ooh, I don't know what I was expecting, but you know how when you're reminded of certain scents and it just hits your nose and you're like, ooh! That's why people get butter, like butter smells good. I forgot how good butter smelled. That's the moment I just had. Okay, I'm going to put this into the microwave for 10 seconds for it to get softened. Check it on the potatoes. Oh. Check on the potatoes, make sure they're good. They're doing good. Okay. Oh, wait, so where's the 15 seconds? Okay, so extra five seconds. Yay. Okay. There we go. Ah, huh, perfect. I think they are softened-ish. Do I need to do it more? Some of them are soft. This is good enough. A little bit better.
Okay, now we microwave this for 30 seconds. Okay, and while that's going, we are going to um, start making the salmon glaze by mixing together several items. Okay, here we go. Now for the glaze. Time to bring out the booze. Okay, so... I think it needs a little bit more. It said until melted, so I can let it go for a little longer. Maybe another 30 seconds. Shot, shot. <laughs> oh, someone wants a party. Okay, so here we're going to add. I'm gonna double the glaze because we have a lot of salmon and I feel like we might end up drinking some throughout the week. So, oh, not drinking some, <laughs> eating some throughout the week so extra glaze would not hurt. Someone say shots? Oh, yes, here, let me pour you a shot, sir. Oh wait, are you supposed to shake it? How do you know which liquor you're supposed to shake and not shake? Um, are you supposed, how do you know, yeah, are you supposed to shake, I don't think you're supposed to shake it, right? <laughs> okay, it smells great, but just don't smell it directly in there. You don't shake liquor. Oh, you don't shake liquor. Okay, okay, don't shake liquor. None, unless it's sake. That was, that has sediment. Ah, I see, I see. No need to shake whiskey. Okay. Whew, I almost shook something that I shouldn't have shook. Okay, so we need half a cup of Jack Daniel, which means that I am doubling this, so we need a full cup. We need a full cup. I even brought, bought Coke so that we can enjoy it later. Um, probably not on stream though. Okay, so here is our cup. Whoa! Are we gonna get drunk eating the salmon? This is a lot. This is a lot! I thought you deglaze the pan with the whiskey. Oh, well this one, it said to, we're gonna baste the salmon, and then we're just going to, uh, drizzle the glaze on top of it for this recipe. Just a little taste. You can feel it travel down your chest and warm you. I just sniffed it. I think I can maybe with Coke, but no. That's one cup? Yeah, that's one cup. That's a lot. The alcohol will burn off. Really? Even if it's this much? Even if you put five bottles, there won't be alcohol left in the finished dish. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Well, so kids can drink this too if they want. Or and not drink it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it after it's cooked. Okay, so we need one cup of Jack Daniel, one cup of brown sugar. Oh, whoa. This got very unhealthy very quickly. Jack Daniel is already pretty sweet, but we're adding a cup of brown sugar to this. Oh man, wait till you see what comes next. As if this is not sweet enough. In case this ain't sweet enough. Okay, so we gotta pack down some brown sugar. Mm, 
brown sugar is so satisfying to look at. It's like sand, but beautiful pieces of sand that just crumbles. They kind of look alive, don't they? Is it just me? Have you guys ever thought that they look alive a bit? They're moving. So cool. Looks like they're alive. Well, alcohol evaporates at 60 degrees Celsius. Mm. It's like kinetic sand. Ooh, yes, satellite. That's a good way of classifying it. It looks like... Ah! Okay. And also when I'm doing, when I'm um, using brown sugar, I am unsure of how much to pack it. Alcohol turns into 78 degrees Celsius. So when you cook your sauce at 100, mm, like sandwich, you can eat it. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a cool um, username. You know how Netgear has very creative usernames? Like Thunder Hippo or what else would we do? I don't know. But when I hear those, I'm like, ah, oh, those would be cool Twitch usernames. Because I recently found out about my mom's Twitch username. <laughs> it's so cute. Is this good enough? I think this is pretty good. Okay, here we go. So here is our Jack Daniel, and we're gonna add a whole cup of sugar to this. Woo! Go, 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 yeah. And then we're going to add a whole cup, a whole cup of honey to this. Where is my special honey? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Adam, we still have your honey. I've been using this so well. I've been putting in my Greek yogurt and in my cooking. So thank you once again. I feel like I don't, you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna use this honey because I don't wanna waste it. I'm gonna use the, the store-bought one. I'm gonna pour it. Yay, honey, yes. I'm just gonna use the not as important honey. Oh wait, shoot. It's calling for a whole cup of honey. You know what? I think I didn't have to double this recipe because this seems to be quite a lot. Oh no, oh no. Are you making a barbecue sauce? No, I'm making um, a sh uh, like a whiskey honey glaze. But this is turning out a lot more sweet than I had expected. Calling the bees. <laughs> yeah, I think I can hear the buzzing because this is a lot of honey. They're going to be so angry. They're like, I worked my butt off to make so much honey for one batch of sauce. And actually, isn't it not fair? So the bees are the ones who worked and dedicated their entire lives to creating honey. And so you would think and that the honey bottles should be B-shaped to pay respect to those who have gifted us honey. But no, the honey bottles are all bears. And what do bears do? They just eat the honey. So isn't that not fair? If I was a bee, I'd be kind of upset. And actually like a bee's body shape would be perfect to hold honey because they're kind of cylindrical and round but yeah yeah whole cup Bzz. i've seen some with oh okay well they're very ethical yeah the bears eat the honey that's why they sell honey in bears i guess so i guess it could look more scrumptious because you're like <gasps> This, this one has a bear on it. It must be bear approved. It's like Smokey the Bear, which is also weird. You, do you guys know what Smokey the Bear is? Like I was telling Dennis the other day, 
like bear smoky the bear is like you can you can you can prevent forest fire basically he's an ambassador for uh promoting safe practices to prevent forest fire but if you're trying to prevent forest fire why would your name be smoky it should be anti-smoky it's like i'm anti-smoky the bear i don't want forest fire but they're cuter I think the bees would take quite a lot of offense to that. <laughs> bees need better branding agents. They do! Apparently they didn't get to sign the brand deal with the honey factory. Okay, and I think the potato is almost done. Okay, we're gonna need a little more honey. We're gonna need a little more honey. I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna save the rest of this honey for tea. Okay, great. Wow, that's so much honey. What should it be called then? Hmm. Mm, what should he be called? Fire hydrant? What is what 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 is the liquid that puts out fire? What is a tool that puts out fire? Hose? Fire hose? That sounds too long, I guess. Perhaps that's why he's called Smokey, because I can't think of a great other name. Hydrant the bear. Yeah, that's not as friendly as it as Smokey. Okay, and we also need one table, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. We've rehearsed this before. Worcestershire sauce. Fire Marshal Bear. Yes. That also sounds very intimidating though. Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill the Bear. Okay. So we need two tablespoons of this. One. <gasps> okay. Tablespoons. I thought it's a teaspoon. Oh shoot, teaspoon, that was supposed to be teaspoon. Okay, it's okay, no one will know. I mean, no, fine, you guys know, but that, that's, no one will know once we are actually eating it. It won't take, it won't taste. Okay, also, we gotta strain the potato soon. and it's been 17 minutes, so I'm going to bring that right on over. For potato mashing. Mash the potatoes. Oh, because I've learned last time that you need to smash your potatoes um, before they cool. Otherwise, it's very difficult to smash or mash. I doubt people of Worcestershire, England, really care how other people pronounce it, anyways. Really? What if that's their pet peeve? But if you say it with a British accent, you probably will need to, so instead of Worcestershire, it's probably like Worcestershire, yeah, Worcestershire sauce. 
But is Worcestershire sauce actually from England? Does anyone know? This looks pretty good. Man, I'm gonna, and it smells good. This looks pretty amazing. You dropped one? I did? Where? Where? I didn't. You tricked me. Or I don't see it. Extinguish the bear. <gasps> that sounds so scary. Sounds like someone's gonna extinguish you. Fire Marshal Bill Skit, you should look it up. One of Jim Carrey's characters. Oh, really? Ah. You check that out. Yes, it's from the Shire of War. Worcester. Ah. Hello. Hello, Teams P. I'll call Bear a Zangief and call it a day. What? Zangief? What is a Zangief? Some pepper. And then we also need to add in our butter mixture. They said not to pour in everything, and we should add in a little bit first. Because we might end up over, we might make it too watery. Okay, so let's put in a little of the half of the butter mixture. Good. Okay, stir. It actually looks pretty good. Whoa! No! Oh shoot, I got it in my hair! I just showered this morning! And in my hair. Okay, well, we're just gonna smell buttery all day long. <laughs> Oh, Zangief is a fan of bears. Oh, add some stir repeat. Yes. Ooh, oh, this looks really good. We're making good progress. Oh yes, we definitely need some more. And we should also add some salt because this is un -butter, unsalted butter. Stir. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important ingredient. Oh, okay, garlic. The garlic. Let's grab the garlic. Oh. The roasted garlic. Let's see if they've roasted well. Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells incredible. Okay, okay. Let's, oh wow, this smells great. Okay, some of it burned a bit, so we probably won't put those in. I think we have to, we have to, you know what? Okay, one thing at a time. Let's stir this first. Potato absorbs a lot of the butter mixture. I think this is a pretty good consistency. What do you think? You think so? Oh, don't use all the sauce. You didn't use all the potatoes. That's a great point. Yes, then I think this is pretty good. No more, no more of the sauce. Okay, and then also let's now Prepare the garlic. Whoa, I feel like I way over roasted these. <gasps> They're falling apart. They're falling apart. Okay, ah, hot. Take out the stem. Oh, hot. Okay, I gotta smash these up too. Okay, smash it up in a 
marble. Okay, so let's get the garlic going over here. Oh, smells so good. Roasted garlic is so good. Okay, take out the stem. Oh, don't put that in. Oh, it's very sticky though. I don't know garlic gets so sticky. I guess it's because they kind of caramelize. I guess garlic has a little bit of sugar to them too. What is Phil getting dared to do? What does it taste like? The gar the roasted garlic? Mm, I think it tastes like garlic, but it has like, it's kind of like roasted, or what is it? Um, grilled onions. You know how grilled onions get sweet as you cook them? It's kind of like that. Except it has a very strong garlicky taste to it. are gonna smell like garlic all day now. Oh. I hope I don't have to shake anyone's hand. Okay, there is one of them. And the other one. I slightly over roasted them, I think. It's a little sweeter than normal garlic. Yes, it certainly smells sweeter. Whoa, this one shrank a lot. Whoo! Wow. I smell like a garlic restaurant right now. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I thought it would have cooled down by now. Stay away from Irene for a while. Yeah, I think people probably would want to stay away from me for a while. I'm, I smell this whole place smells very extremely garlicky, but it smells like a very savory garlicky taste. I just don't want to put a whole one of these in my mouth. I feel like that would be a lot, but it will add great flavor to our mashed potatoes. So you're a vampire. Oh shoot, you, that was a trick question. That was a trick question. I was being tested if I was a vampire and I failed. Actually, I'm just kidding. Yes, I would totally like garlic. Um, yeah, which is why I'm peeling it right now. So if any of you are running away right now, you are the true vampire. I think that's plenty. I think that is plenty. Now let's just crush it. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, I have a shell. That's not good. Okay, I'm just gonna smush up the garlic into a garlic paste so that we can incorporate it into our mashed potato. I feel like I've been using this uh, smasher that's supposed to be used for cocktails on food more than actual cocktails. This is making a fun pace. Who needs a mortar and pestle? And we've got a cocktail smasher. I 
I've eaten the whole head of garlic <gasps> after roasting it. So good. Really, I wasn't meeting up with anyone for a while. Nice. Okay, well then, yes. Pick a day where you're not going to be meeting anyone for a while. And then go, go all out eating the garlic. It actually didn't end up producing that much garlic. I guess when you roast the garlic, it shrinks, it shrivels quite a bit. So be generous with your garlic. Okay, we're gonna mix in the garlic. Gonna get every last bit of that garlic. Some salt and pepper to taste. Yummy, yummy, get in my tummy. Mm hmm. Salt. Add some pepper. I think this might be the most delicious mashed potato I've made ever. Um, whoever stopped me from putting in the rest of the milk mixture, thank you, because this needs to form the base. And if it's too liquidy, I forgot that that's going to make our life harder. Okay, let's taste it. Taste this time. Okay, ready to taste this? This is your breakfast bite. Don't know how to aim. Oh, need salt. Wait, I don't really taste the garlic. Yeah. What? I put in so much garlic. I was, I thought it would taste purely like garlic, but it doesn't. Oh, why is that spoon bent? Um, so I had a day where I kind of lost it and I got angry with the spoon so I bent it like Hulk. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, the spoon is bent because it allows you to prop it up on your coffee mug like that. Ain't that cool? Yeah. Right? Isn't it cool? Grind some fresh nutmeg. Man, I wish I could, but I don't have a micro cleaner. Okay, another taste test. I should take smaller dollops. I'm gonna get really full by the end of this. It's getting there. Maybe a little bit more. And a little more pepper. But it's 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 good quality mashed potato. time I'm done testing this, half of this mashed potato will be gone. Okay, another taste test. Why are you laughing? No, it's just I'm but I'm going I'm going I'm going slowly with the salt because I don't want to over season it. Remember this fish? Oh, shoot. <gasps> Thank you, Silver, for the reminder. Okay. This is good. Very good. Oh, very good. But not like, it, it, it could work with other items that are more seasoned. So it's not overly seasoned. Thank goodness that I read Silver's message. Otherwise, I would have gone for another sprinkle dingle. Okay, there we go. So our potatoes are good. And then, um, oh yeah, our sauce, our sauce. We still haven't finished our sauce. Oh shoot, this isn't good. I don't remember where we left off. We put in Worcestershire sauce. Oh, we need to put in soy sauce. Okay, so it is asking for two tablespoons of soy sauce. 
One, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then we're gonna double it. So three, four. No, no five. Okay, and then one tablespoon of halt sauce. Let's see. Tapatio because I think that'll go well with the fish. Does tapatio go well with fish, Chuggy Yep. Okay. Well, Dennis has approved. One. Two. Oh, people say hi, Dennis. <laughs> they say hi, Dennis. Bye, Dennis. <laughs> is going to play tennis now. Okay, so we have our hot sauce. And then we're just going to add our cornstarch later once this comes to a boil. So we need to put on the fire. On the fire. On the stove. On the stove. <gasps> Hi, Raggers. You know, I've just realized that I've been reading your name wrong the whole time. It's Razgris, but I keep saying Ragris. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. What's cooking? We're cooking up some glazed salmon in a gourmet style. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's so many spices going on right now. So much spice. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm putting the rest of this honey. Okay, splurp. Good, good, we're making good progress. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on the fire. And wait for that to heat up. And in the meantime, we're going to prepare our green beans. <sighs> Salmon was grilled. Oh. oh shoot, we have to grill the salmon too. I forgot. Oh, I thought we were almost done with this, but we're far from done. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, so we gotta cook the green beans. And to do so, let's first wash our green beans. A mess over here. Let me just get myself situated. Okay, so let's wash up the green beans. In order to do so, I'm going to, oh wait, I feel like the, this is, oh, this isn't boiling yet. This isn't boiling yet, but that's our, our sauce cooking up over there. Let's give it a stir real quick. Boil, we're going to add cornstarch to it as well. But we're going 
to come to the kitchen real quick to clean up our mess because uh, I need to wash the green beans. So I'm gonna very quickly just rinse stuff. I'll be right here. I'll be right here. The greenest of beans, very eco-friendly. Yeah, and I have so much of them too. Look, I've got so much green beans. to add a little cornstarch slurry and so the cornstarch slurry is going to be a mixture of how much cornstarch do we need we need one tablespoon of cornstarch to one tablespoon of cold water okay let's do that let's do that okay one tablespoon of cornstarch one tablespoon of water All the alcohol <laughs> Yes, the alcohol is evaporated. Oh wait, you guys can't see it there. You guys can see it here better. Oh wait, if my water cup, my water glass, if my vodka glass is out of the way, there we go. Okay, so we have one, one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. water there we go sauce will be boiling while toying with salmon oh yeah we haven't done the salmon yet oh shoot Let it boil for an 
slowly evaporated already though? I'm kind of worried. Let's try taste testing. Oh! My, that's very, that has a kick. Ooh, it's good. It's very, it, it tastes very smoky. I think it's the hot sauce. Okay, I think we can turn it off and let it cool. So we're just gonna keep it on there and then work on the green beans now. Whoo! I feel the heat. Worst case, you get drunk. Yeah, apparently. Um, because we put in like a whole cup of Jack Daniel. Ooh, pungent is the word. I guess so. It, but does pungent solely have a negative context, or does punch can pungent mean it? It has very very strong flavor, but it's not necessarily bad. Fragrant, fragrant is the other word. Yes, it's very, very fragrant. It has, it has extremely bold flavors. Very, very bold flavors. scenario as in what's the worst that can happen mm, that's true that doesn't sound too bad that doesn't sound too bad of a scenario well actually i'll just get drunk off that sounds kind of bad because i need to beat my final boss today and um i'll struggle quite a bit if i'm intoxicated <laughs> What? No, not yet, not yet, no, no. No, we still got so much to go. Okay, well actually no, everything's gonna come together fairly quickly from here on, I would like to think. I can't reach. Okay. Well, who knew like a fancy dinner would take so long? I mean, lunch. Okay. Go, green beans. Wash. Then let's move to drink. Yeah. Ditch the game. Let's move to the drink. I think this is plenty of green beans. Actually, it's probably too much. We don't need that much. So much is good. Okay. Good. Okay, let's head over to the cutting board. Uh, the 
hips a little bit so that they are not um, in the way of our delicious meal. We still want to keep them kind of long because, as you can see in the picture, um, the salmon is going to be stacked on top of it, so you don't want it to be too short. Snip the tips. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aw, oh, these aren't snappies, but I was going to say, oh, snap, peas. But these aren't snap peas, these are just green beans. What are green bean puns? just cook up the beans and then um, the fish and then we will be ready to plate so light at the end of the tunnel is coming up oh shoot two of them ran away this time command to tell us what time it is here? I didn't know that. <gasps> That's so cool. Miss P, where is Miss P? Is she in the mashed potatoes? <laughs> oh, yes. She is in the delicious mashed potatoes and is going to be the highlight of this dish. No, I'm just kidding. We would never eat our sister. No, we don't eat our sisters. Oh, that's so cool! Added the time command about a week ago or so. Oh, thank you, Silver! That's so cool! I love it! Because I always ask, like, what time is it? Especially when I'm IRL streaming, I can't see the time on my phone. So, ooh, thank you. Silver is always adding special little surprises here and there. Okay, oh, we're almost done chopping up the peas. Or the beans. Why do I call them peas? They're not peas. They're not peas, they're beans. And I keep calling them peas. And they're like, we're not peas! I tell you, I'm bean! Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, because everyone in the world is in a different time zone. We're going to start grilling these. Oh, another one bites the dust. Stop, stop running away, stop running away. Okay, let's go take these to the fire. And they are going to go into a wok. Green potatoes, green beets, preheat olive oil, stir fry green beets for two minutes. Add butter, soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, chili flakes, saute for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so we need to add some, wait, did it really say olive oil? Olive oil, that sounds kind of strange. I'm gonna go, oh, okay, you know what? The chef asked for it, so olive oil. 
this is because we're going to cook it not in high heat. Okay. We're going to preheat that. runs away <laughs> okay so let me grab the fish now oh, looking good looking fantastic over here let's chop these up into nice plateable size strips okay Ooh, they're definitely marinated Okay, I think based on the picture, it looks like this would be a good amount. I should do this with a sushi knife. Yes, we're pulling out the beautiful sushi knife from Orson to cut our fish. Oh, and it works so much better. Okay, and the last piece can stay about that size. Perfect. Okay, so let's go check on the beans. Oh, the beans haven't made it in yet. Okay, this is really hot, so let's be careful. Oh man, I think I cool this down a little bit because I'm scared that I'm scared that the beans are going to cause the the wok to splatter. In which case, I will have a yeah, I will have a lid ready, but let's do it. Shoot, sorry. I realized that I'm not on camera. There we go. Sizzle, yeah. It's sizzling. It says that we should cook them um, with a lid on for two minutes and then we're gonna add the sauce ingredients.
Ah, oh, shoot. I cut the fish with this. to cook each side for three to four minutes. And yeah, okay, we're gonna cook each side for three to four minutes. We gotta add some oil. Gotta add some oil. Okay, in a heated cast iron, which we don't have a cast iron, but piece of salmon sear for three to four minutes on each side. Okay. Skin first for salmon. Oh, okay. Thank you, Shizu. I'll keep that in mind. Skin first for salmon. Okay. That's good to know. Ooh, and then I got fresh rosemary for this because we're going to do some basting. I've never basted something before, so I'm excited to try this. I just bake my salmon and then sear it afterwards. Yeah, it actually does say to bake your salmon as well after you sear, but... Do we gotta bake it? I feel like hopefully it's just, it just cooks all the way, is what I'm hoping for. So we don't have to bake it. I'll just put the lid on for a little bit. Okay, let's also make sure that the green beans don't burn to a crisp. Okay, green beans are doing good. Who is that? Did someone say something? Uh, I'm, I'm hearing things. I'm definitely hearing things. I'm hearing things. <laughs> She's wearing the chef's hat. It lasted like first five minutes of stream. Yeah, I have it here. I have it here. But then I realized my bangs were being ruined, so I took it off. I'm gonna get fired from this kitchen. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And I mean, could see you now and you're not swimming anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about the fish. <coughs> oh, the smoke. Oh, it's smoky. Okay. I think this is pretty heated up, and now I gotta put on protective gear. And goes the salmon. And I'm scared the fire alarm is gonna go off. So I'm going to open up the window a bit. Mm. And open up the window. Let me also open up the front door.
know. There. Okay. And now we add the salmon. Okay, here we go. Get ready. I'm scared. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm someone who has to have, have who, I'm someone who has had bangs for like 20 years now and can't live without them. But then I hate it when my bangs get smoshed. Everything is safe, yeah. Everything is safe. Probably is not going to sear it because I didn't heat it up enough, but that's okay. Rosemary here, and we're gonna baste it later. Ah, excited for that part. Very excited for that part. Okay, you guys keep an eye on the salmon for me, okay? What? That's from a song? My favorite song where, quote, she sits there among the cabbages and the peas. Oh, and the carrots are on point. The overhead camera makes them look real small. Oh, they do, don't they? But they're not, they're not that very small. Although they did shrink a bit once they went into the fire. They like immediately shrink a good centimeter as soon as they hit the fire. But you know how you make stuff for me? You serve them in small portions. That's when you know it's precious and gourmet. Or at least it looks like it, so. Well, this will do, this salmon will do that job for sure. Okay, I think we're ready to flip them because I think it's been about three to four minutes. Okay, are we ready to flip? Okay, here we go. Hope well, they're not burned. Whoa, they're burned. Thank goodness it's the skin. That burned. Okay, so the fire was hotter than I thought. They're definitely hard. Ooh. Oh, but they smell tasty. Okay, so now we're going to baste them. We're going to baste them. Okay, by putting in some butter. This one touched the knife that had the that had the fish on it, but that's okay because it's all going into the same fish. Okay, 
and then you put a fresh sprig of rosemary to this. Very burnt. Yeah, they are very burnt. Okay, we're gonna add a fresh sprig of rosemary. <gasps> These look so cute! Oh, and they smell so good. Did you know that fresh rosemary smells really good? Wow. Okay, let's add a couple sprigs to we've got plenty. Glaze them. More butter in pan. Pan's a little crowded, but it's the right technique. Yeah, I think that's the issue. The pan was a little too crowded, and that's why I struggled quite a bit. So if you're gonna baste, don't put so much fish in one pan. The original recipe was called Romantic Dinner for two, so um, you, we 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 should not have put that much fish in. More butter in pan. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and let's plate. What do you know? We just set the fire alarm off. That's awesome. Yay! We're done. Okay, time to plate. Yay. Okay, let's go. Have a couple going. Oh, 
shoot, I have brown bits on my hand. Okay, so what we need to do is first we need to have a dollop of mashed potato in the center. You know what? I'm just gonna make one because Dennis ain't here right now. I'll make some for him once he comes back home. smoky in here. Okay, so let's put on some mashed potatoes in the center. <gasps> Lovely. Ooh, this is a great start. This is a great start. Okay, I'm excited now. Oh shoot. I should have taken these off the fire. I burned the greens. They were a perfect crispy green, but then they got burnt and like browned. Oh my, is that, is that hair? Is that my hair? But my hair is not that color. Hmm. Okay, this is why you gotta wear your chest hat. Shoot, I burned the green beans. These are the non-burned ones. Everything is getting burned. I know, look. So I should have taken it off the fire. Oh, <coughs> oh all the pepper. <coughs> oh, this is choking me up. Okay, um, let's put our slice of fish. <gasps> it looks quite lovely though. And then we're going to drizzle the sauce on along the side of the plate. Gotta be careful not to let it get past the border. I'm just gonna pour it on one side and then assume it's gonna drizzle over to the other side, flow to the other side. There we go. I'm so excited to try it. It looks absolutely incredible. Thank you. It's just <coughs> a lot of smoky flavors that are like floating around right now, so I'm trying not to choke on this. But it actually looks pretty close to the dish that is being served. Monsters Time, thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you. <coughs> that looks so good. Thank you. Okay, that means that we need to try it now. Oh man, so excited to taste this. I hope it tastes delicious. I don't want to cut into it because it's so pretty. Looks amazing, thank you. But you guys have waited for this moment. And so let's taste it. Here's the salmon. This bite is for all of you. Free is my favorite price. <laughs> oh shoot, I just read that dark club. Instagram it. No. 
I should have. I really should have because this is really pretty. I will I will make Dennis's and Instagram that one. <laughs> yeah, how much would you guys? Over 15. Wow. <gasps> Yay! It passes. It passes the the value test. Okay, let's try the mashed potatoes now. Hey, and you know what? The salmon is not too too seasoned. I was a little worried that it'd be too salty, but it actually is perfectly seasoned. Mm. Very good, very good. Mashed potatoes, very good with the with the whiskey sauce. Oh man, this is a great combination. Okay, I'm excited to take this next bite. For this next bite, guys, let's get a little of everything. Let's get a little bit of everything. So we got our salmon. Yeah, we got our salmon. Let's get some mashed potatoes and the sauce. Okay, yes. And then let's get a piece of that green bean. Perfect. Here you go. This is your bite. Oh no, mashed potato dropped. mashed potatoes. Let's go. Mm. Oh man, this is this is why people put extra effort to cook at home. It feels like I'm at a restaurant and that I'm at a nice restaurant and the chef has brought out a beautiful warm dish well balanced with a lot of different elements and played it beautifully and it's just dancing in my mouth this is awesome mm, it's so good wow i've never made like this i don't know why but it just feels very restaurant style i guess it's because i've never tried making something like this at home and i didn't know that you could make something like this at home so i'm just like blown away right now Oh, I will say like when you taste it you don't choke on pepperiness but the air in this kitchen is filled with peppery smoke so it makes me choke mm. Mm. I don't really do fancy to be honest so no clue how much this would fetch yeah I feel like if I try to get this at a restaurant, it would cost a lot more. They would also probably use better quality salmon, but actually I'm quite surprised. So you know how I showed you guys that the salmon was a huge slab for like $10? And I was saying, oh, this is probably not a great quality salmon. It's actually really good. Um, I think it's because it was probably, it was from the deli se section or like the seafood section where it didn't say that it was pre-frozen, but it tastes really good, especially for how much I messed up the cooking aspect of it and like burnt it. It's really good. Mm. That's Michelin star quality. Where's my sh place plate chef? Oh. Now I can put on the hat. Now I feel like I'm deserving of putting on this hat. Your plate, uh, your plate is on its way, sir. It will be delivered at 10 p.m. Pacific. And cook correctly, everything will taste good. That's true. That's where everything can go wrong. <laughs> the ingredients are fine, but if you gotta cook it properly. Wow, this is really good. And I'm not a huge fish person, so I don't really, I'm not the person who orders salmon if there is a steak option, but this is really good. This is very, very, very good. Mm. What even is that brown sauce? Mm. It is sugar, sugar, and sugar. I'm just kidding. It's a glaze that is um, whiskey and honey based 
Wow, this is so good. Last bite. So happy that I'm going to be eating this for dinner as well. Excited for Dennis to try once he gets back. Okay, basically clean plate club because I ate everything. If I had a larger piece of salmon, I would continue eating, but gotta go wrap a peanut, guys. Whoa, I'm in heaven right now. That, that was such a hearty, delicious meal. And it makes you kind of feel good too because, I shouldn't say that because there's a bunch of butter that went into that. But despite that, we got carbs, protein, and fiber. So, lots of carbs, I guess. <laughs> but it doesn't taste unhealthy. That was good. I'm very satisfied. I'm so satisfied. I need more water. Oh, shoot. I should have poured more water into this fancy glass while I was eating the fancy meal. But... Butter good, yes. Can I have the same? Hold the soy and the salmon and everything else. Can I have the, some whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got quite a lot of whiskey left, so. Oh, this is so good. Whoever wants to take it, it's yours. What is that? It's a water jug. Me. Okay, I don't know who I am wants it. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to head to the couch now because it is time. I don't know if we'll be able to wrap up Kina in an hour and a half, but let's try. Let's try. Okay, so let's get ready to travel, everyone. Okay, buckle up, and we're going to head off to...
camlink for some reason. Oh, now it does. Whoa, except, oh, I'm so sorry, you're blind and deaf. You're blind and deaf. There we go. Oh, sorry. You crash landed into heaven. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then let's just connect you all to <clears throat> the. Folks, it is quite smoky. Ooh, I died. Dies? Ouch. <gasps> what? Who died? Why? Die? Oh, oh. <clears throat> Just a quick neck stretch. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. Okay, hopefully your neck is okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, yes. So, let's get. And hopefully. <clears throat> <clears throat> You're offline, that's okay. Let's put on you to be online for this. Okay, and then let's also make sure that the game sound is good. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm chopped off. Let me see where I am. Okay, off to the magical land of Kina. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> nope. There we go. <clears throat> ah, thank you for updating category, Zilber. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, I need to stop the music. Sound hopefully should be. Whoa! Oh my god, I missed this. Gordon Ramsay has tipped. Beautifully cooked salmon. Okay, mashed potatoes, creamy. Okay, elegant, warm whiskey sauce. Okay, well done. Wow! Gordon Ramsay has approved of our cooking. Our day is made. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm still way too pale. <clears throat> Hopefully that is good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now I'm not looking like a ghost. Hopefully the game sound is good. <clears throat> let's go, play. Why am I so tiny? Okay, continue. Here you go. So we were, game sound is perfect. Oh, thank you, Silver. Okay, so we were headed toward this fourth gateway. <clears throat> no, we've actually come in from the gateway and 
I said I know where we are, but I forgot already. Hey guys, do any of you remember which way I'm supposed to go? Where did I come from that way? Oh, I must have come from that way because we need to go to the yellow. We need to go to the yellow bit. <clears throat> yeah, we probably need to go this way. How do we get there? How do we get there? Huh. I'm curious. Ooh. What are those rocks? Is this the way I came? No, it can't be that because... <clears throat> Is MZ here? <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh, what are you, what, what? So many rats? Yeah, there's quite a lot of rats. We got quite a party of rats right now. Can I ask you something? Why do you always want to go back where you came from? Oh, really? Okay, so definitely not that way. So how do I continue on from here? Okay, yeah, so definitely not this way because then that would take us back to where we came from. But the only way we can continue is this way, right? Because it's not like someone's going to give us a boat. As long as you don't undo last stream's progress. I hope so. <coughs> that is the way... It is? Okay, okay. Um, but I can't shoot that. Is there a boat that I am missing somewhere? Oh. Wait, am I supposed to go this way? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe that's what you meant, that it, this is the way. <clears throat> oh, right. Right, I remember this. Oh, right, I remember. I remember because those little bombs were coming at us and then we decided that we probably would not continue yet. Oh, lovely. Okay, and continue through the portal. Finally, yeah. Finally, we've made it. Ooh, this looks beautiful. A chest. <gasps> Spirit meal? cutest hat ever oh my gosh a samurai hat yes okay i'm so excited to reward this to the next rat we see oh oh my gosh this is the cutest hat ever a samurai hat just when you think you've already gotten all the cute hats there is more wow this is awesome okay oh so that is where we started off from and we're here <laughs> must need to climb this thing because when there's a place to climb you climb it right wait why does this feel familiar why does this feel familiar maybe it's because i've been here already i don't think i was supposed to go that way was i because this meditation spot is already taken okay this is where i've undone last time's progress I don't think I was supposed to climb up here, right? 
And she's back here. Okay, no wonder. Yes. At least I, I knew it was familiar. <clears throat> okay, so I just gotta go back to this point. No <laughs> wonder I was like, this feels way too familiar. <laughs> Was I not supposed to come here, MZ? Was I not supposed to go through that portal? Wait, this looks really familiar too. Oh shoot, yeah, I'm lost. I'm just lost. <clears throat> so maybe I'm supposed to get that. I remember that spot. You admired the view from last room, I think. Right? How did I get here? How did I get out of here? Oh, shoot. Okay, these I definitely don't remember. Whoa, okay. We're making progress. We're making progress. Uh, except how in the world do I jump to there? There must be a portal somewhere. There has to be a portal somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> well, speaking of portals, Dennis says that he wants to play portals with me. How do I get there? Do I need to start over? I think I wasn't supposed to go through that portal, maybe. Oh, this flower is not opening up for me either. Okay, definitely have not gone through those portals before. Except I have no idea how to get there. Can I jump from? to zap through that portal for sure yellow is where she needs to go but she needs to find the road herself oh yellow is her final place she will reach spread your wings <laughs> i want to yes yellow is where she wants to go okay great but the road probably is that way right wait but i can't go that way from here, the only way I can get out of here is up, which is this way, which we went to before, but I guess to get out of here, I, I, I need to go through all this again, right? <clears throat> oh! Okay, 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 I get it. So I have to turn these on. And then slide down. And then jump onto it. That's kind of a lot to ask for. Yes! We did it! Okay. Now we zip through the portal. We zip through that portal. And we jump, 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 jump. Oh man. What happened? Where am I? Am I alive? Oh, what do you know? I'm still alive. Oh, I tried. <laughs> oh, Conrad Shita, thank you so much for redeeming sip your water. Let me grab, let me grab a water because uh, I definitely need it. <clears throat> There's still pepper flakes in the air. Cheers to you, Conran Shita. Thank you. Death count 93. Oh, shoot. No, 94. <laughs> okay, well, don't worry. Don't worry. We're, we'll uh, keep it at 94. 
Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, I needed to jump? I, I don't know what I could have done. Okay. How do I jump up there? Oh, grab the ledge! Grab the ledge! Shoot, could you come back down? I actually can't grab the ledge. Do you think I should be able to grab the ledge from that rock? I feel like I should be able to. Okay, I'm gonna be on the rock so that when it props up, I can be on top of it. Yes, you can, okay. Let's go on top of this rock. Finally, okay. We just needed uh, reassurance that we could do it. Okay, now I'm gonna go very close to the ledge because I've already made the mistake of ax Oh, what? Okay. Okay, so. Oh, what? I, uh, I was dashing! I dashed. Oh no, we finally reached a hundred. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait a second. We could do this. Okay, so I dash and I dash. I dash and I dash. I dash and I dash. So dash and dash, 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 dash. I click dash. Is that not what we we're gonna do? Okay. Dash and dash, 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 dash. Anna, Anna, why? So I guess dash, dash doesn't work. Ledge disappeared. Oh, thank you. Okay, you know what? This is why Dennis tells me if something doesn't work in a game, it doesn't mean that you're supposed to constantly repeat it. You should try something else. I think that's why, what he meant by this. Oh, now, now, okay, okay, okay. I see, that was my bad. I'm sorry. I apologize to the game. Uh, yes, I, I did not mean to uh, get frustrated. That was my bad. Okay, she found her path. Yes! Oh, we're so close. We're so close. <gasps> Actually, that's kind of scary that we're so close. Oh, and we've entered the tiger's cave. Because you know what all these mean. You know that there's someone who wants to kill us. Yeah. At least there's no tripwire this time. Right? And hopefully this warrior person that's going to battle with us does not have wings. Okay, let's scout out our battleground because that's good strategy for when you're going to war. You want to scout out your battleground and see what... Um, 
challenges it could present. Oh, we're gonna ring the gong. Ready? Let's ring the gong. Time to ring the gong. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this is not good. The mask already looks scary. The mask looks terrifying. Oh, we're gonna die. Looks so cool though, right? Looks like another boss area. Mm -hmm. But oh man, this boss is gonna be not a fun boss. This boss kind of looks like a rhino. He might charge at you and try to kill you. I mean, they all seem to do that, but okay, ready? I'm scared. What is he gonna look like? Oh gosh, he has a huge samurai sword. Oh, he's a samurai warrior. <coughs> he's gonna be super fast. He's gonna be super fast. But thankfully, he doesn't have wings or a bow. Oh, he looks scary. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, oh gosh. Oh no. What do we do? Ah, run, 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 run. Oh, shoot. Ah, run, 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 run. Ah. Okay, face your enemy. You know what? I'm just gonna. Ah, shoot. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Scout out his powers. That's, that's a good idea. And then grab, and then. Oh, and then dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, whoops. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh! Watch out, watch out. Woo! Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, 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 you don't want to go into those. Okay, great. ourselves. Come on, Rats, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What? How are you not healing me? Oh, I need to... I'm gonna die if you don't heal me. Where about the flowers? Where did the flowers go? Where did the flowers go? Where did my Rats go? Did my Rats disappear? Oh my gosh, my Rats disappeared. Ah, my Rats disappeared. Oh shoot, I can't heal myself. How does your Rats disappear? How... Do, oh! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is where I die. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh my gosh, where where did my rots go? Where did my, wait, where did my rots go? Has anyone seen my rots? That Ronin seems utterly impressed. Has anyone seen my rots? It's like, where are my children? Where did they go? Where did they go? Did they just ran away? Not sure, right? They just disappeared. And now I'm gonna die. I haven't seen them. They know you can handle this without- Well, clearly not, because I'm down to my last all point, but my rots disappeared. Oh man, that's not good. I can't even recover myself. I'm gonna die now. Oh, you know what I realized? Once I hit the barrier, that's when I, I, when the rots oh they died i think if i hit the barrier my rots go away oh shoot i haven't died yet that's amazing i can't heal myself i can't heal myself please ah! Oh, please, I can't heal myself. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Because I really can't heal myself, and then if you do another one of those, I will- Oh, I will die! But my rots disappeared! My ro Oh! Now you guys show up! Well, okay, guys, where were you? Where did you go? I needed to heal, and you guys just disappeared. And then I was like, where are you? 
and the yellow circles were charged, but you guys were gone. Where did you go? Where did you guys go? We need to have a team discussion. You can't just leave in the middle of the fight. That can't happen. You can't just leave. And they're like, what are you talking about? I don't remember this fight. What fight are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't know. Don't worry about them, just fight. I guess I should have, but I, I was freaking out because I was at my last uh, lifespan. And then... Oh my gosh, now my rots are gone! Now my rots are gone, now my rots are gone. This is where my rots have disappeared. Wow, they, they're they gone, they're gone, they're gone. Oh no, they're here. Okay, they're there. Okay, don't get too close, don't get too close, don't get too close. Okay, so apparently you shouldn't get too close. did it yes oh you're totally right mz he was a lot easier than that flying person i think it was because i was supposed to tackle him before we get to the flying flying um boss okay okay we now have the key to reach the final boss Woo! we got it we got it we got it we got it yeah Panicking for no reason, yeah. But, but, ah, uh, it was so weird. My rots were gone. Isn't that weird that your rots just disappear? Has that ever happened to you guys? Second time the charm, yeah. Many wranglers. Oh, that's such a cool emote. Well played. Hoping to seek guidance from our ancestors. As our village struggled, Toshi found few answers here. Okay, well, thank you. That is good to know. Okay, meditation. We probably want to increase our health point areas as much as we can. Ready? Oh. Okay, meditation over. Let's go. Let's go face the final boss. Okay, do I have enough points to buy um, upgrades? Okay, let's just upgrade everything we can because uh, at this point we're about to find the final boss. Gain a raw action when you successfully parry an enemy. I never successfully parry an enemy, but why not? 
And what is this? The strength of Kina Shield is now. Oh, okay, we definitely need that. Okay, so we've unlocked everything at this point, so there can be nothing more than this that we take into the final battle. Okay, so the final uh, place we need to go is... Oh, whoa! We need to go all the way over there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's zoom in. I can't see anything. What? Oh, other way? Other way, madame? Mm. Oh, it sounds like a microwave. <laughs> Village Leader Hall. Okay, here we go. That sounds like a fitting place to meet the past village leader. Oh, but it's cold. His heart is frozen. Dekasen, hello! Thank you so much for the 13 months. Here to celebrate 13 wonderful months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 13 months and we're 13 Ooh, do you hear that heartbeat can you hear my heartbeat dun, 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 dun. you know what let's go open this first just in case because i you could just totally open up while you fight but i just get that extra sense of comfort um knowing that it is available oh here we go Final boss. Oh man. But I have a whole 40 minutes to defeat him, so hopefully that's enough time. Wow, he looks angry. Your will is that over? Strong, spirit to guide. Of the mountain shrine is mine. Okay, you I can keep took it. it to save my people. It's time, Toshi. Oh, it's time. Let go. We you can restore it. your home together. You want to challenge me? Come. No, oh, he's got a sword and a staff. That does not seem good. Okay, okay, let's see what he can do first. Oh, it does nothing. Oh, oh, okay, it's one of those. Oh, okay, so he just blocks everything. Oh, yikes, and uh, that dashing doesn't do anything. Okay, so uh, how do we destroy him? No idea. Oh, we need to use the power of the rots. Okay, so if it doesn't have rots incorporated in it, you can't destroy him. Oh, but my rots ran away. Oh, okay. Here, can we run away this way? Oh no, we can't run away that way. Oh, great. What is this now? What is this? What is this magic? Okay. Ha! Ha! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! There's rockets! There's rockets heading at you. Okay, maybe we throw bombs at him? Oh! oh okay, my rots are, are dead right now, so I have to solely use my rots. Okay, let's run. Let's run. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, okay. Why do my rods not heal so quickly? 
Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, okay, it's that one. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's trees. Oh, okay, okay, there's roots breaking out from the ground. Okay. Oh, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Block, block. Oh, we dead. We dead. We dead? Ah! We're not dead yet! Ah! Ah! We are, 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 Oh, it's freezing in, so uh, we can't even reach that flower. Okay, can you heal me here? Can you heal me here? Ah! <laughs> run like forest area. I think the whole time all I've been saying is run away, run away. This boss fight, you can only use healing flower once. What? Okay, that part I didn't know. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can't just like constantly heal myself. Okay, that's 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 good to know. anything right I don't think that damaged him did that damage him oh it does it does damage him okay, a little, but everything else doesn't seem to work oh watch out oh okay Scary now. <gasps> no, no, not my little rat on the shoulder. No, not you. You can't. No, he's trying to. Oh, it's so sad. Oh. No. Do you know? They're my family. Silver Franken Low. Ah. Okay, 
guys, now we can't listen to what Frankie Lou and Zilver says because they've been possessed, they've been taken. Oh no, we're all rats! Oh, this is horrible. No wonder, that seemed way too simple to be the ending, right? Is that where we're supposed to go? I guess that's the only place we could go. Oh no. <laughs> Zilver, a robot now, freaking low, dead. No! We okay, we're gonna go rescue them. Don't worry, we're gonna go rescue them. No wonder, I was like, this seems fake. He's dying too easily. Whoa, things are floating. Oh, this is trippy. Hey, this is kind of where we were before, I think. Can we walk on this? <gasps> wow. This looks so majestic. <gasps> Oh no. Oh, those are our rots. Those are our rots. Oh, our rots. Oh, not good. Okay, now it's the actual boss fight. Oh! <gasps> no way! That's what they look like now? That's what you guys look like? Oh, good. Oh my gosh, this oh, 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 this looks way too scary. Oh, this looks way too scary. Oh gosh, okay. Can anything hurt you? Oh, oh I don't have rots. I don't have rots, so I can't. Oh, I can't even heal myself then, right? I don't have rots, so I can't even heal myself. I don't know how to fight without you guys. Ah. Does that even do anything? I don't know how to fight without rocks now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How about a bomb? How about a bomb? How about a bomb? Do you guys like bombs? Okay, yes. And he looks angry. so fast oh save, save us oh! Let's just wait till our lives are healed a little and then can we pick up some heart recovery points? Nope. I'm just gonna wait a little. Uh, almost caught off guard there. Yeah, I uh, did not know that there would be so many of them. Oh gosh, okay. Whoa, whoa.
my gosh, it's so intense. Okay, what does this do? Oh! Oh my gosh, my rods! No. Oh, guys, come on, please. Get, get your, get, get. Don't remember who you are. Oh, 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 you guys are kind of back. Are you guys back? Is that silver? Is that freaking low? Are you guys back? No, it's not, because I don't see the uh, the pancake and the box mask. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Oh. How we die. Oh, do you see in the little monitor that it has a sad rot?
so bad at aiming. Oh, there's just two more spots. There's just two more spots. You got this, Arian. Oh, thank you, Dark Cloud. <sighs> okay, this one's so. Whoa, what happened with the audio? Okay, audio's still there. Okay. Whoa, now what do we do? Interesting. Oh, this is giving me remind. This reminds me a little bit about of uh, Spider Man, don't you think? Yeah, this is definitely get, is reminding me of Spider-Man, Spooderman. Nope, I throw it from up here. Oh, what? We just died? Oh, that sinks. So we have to go up there, but these rocks sink as soon as we jump from it. so close falling noises yeah we we just keep falling oh my gosh this is really hard oh i need help can someone take my controller i need help i need help i need help death count 108 oh my goodness this is so hard okay I didn't need to jump. I could have done it straight from there. Okay, let's not jump then this time. Because I'm so bad at aiming while jumping. What do we need to do? Oh. Oh, what? Where do I go from here? Uh-oh. I don't have enough time. I can't seem to... Where do we go? It's not opening up. No, I can't make it. What do we do? Those flowers aren't opening up. Let's jump. the final exam for your game or diploma. Is it? Oh man, do I have to jump towards it? That doesn't seem like... I feel like I'm supposed to... Okay, clearly not. Where do I go from here? 
what do we do? We live here now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a very small rock to live on. Where do we go? I mean, I guess the only thing I have left to do is jump. Oh, almost made it, but we didn't. Oh, but we did. Okay, so that rock falls for sure. Okay, well, where are we? Okay, please don't say we're starting from the beginning. We're starting from the beginning. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, aim for the top of the flower, aim for the top of the flower. Okay, we're still at the same place. Okay, I'm gonna rush to the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hand eye coordination. Hand eye coordination. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do it. We can do it. Just don't panic. Once I jump to that rock, I need to make it to the left side real quick and then uh, hit, explode that blue rock. from the beginning oh why 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 does it make you stare all the way from the beginning that's evil okay this is where we should take a quick break Take a sip of water. Ugh. Okay, always aim for the top of the flower. Aim for the top of the flower. Aim for the top of the flower. Okay, uh, might have missed. Oh, okay, I did. 
did too late. You need to throw the bomb right away. I just need to practice that. Okay, my death count is at like 150 something right now. Lionheart, thank you so. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much for the two months. Thank you. Death count 114. Okay. Oh my goodness. Where will this end? Okay, take a quick breath here. That's where we take our breath. I wish we can explode the rock from over here. That would be very nice, but we can't. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. like racking up my death counts. I thought if I just threw a bomb randomly, it would have hit it. Okay, Jay Blur is busy. He, uh, Jay Blur is very busy. I'm sorry. I'm struggling. Okay, let's go. charge arrow will go.
okay. Okay, okay, we're... At least we know that we almost made it till the end. That is very encouraging. Oh, shoot. Sorry guys, so close, right? forever. finish this Get them. Oh, okay, we did it. We did it, we did it. Oh, oh my gosh, that was too intense. That was too intense. Okay, we did it, we did it. Jean's stream just got started. Oh, nice, okay. Well, um, is she, I was going to think we, I was going to think. I was thinking we could all go raid her together 
I think her stream will be a lot more of a comfy mood and less intense, hopefully. Um, but we back. Wait, wait. Let's see if. Let's see if. <gasps> uh, oh, I saw Frank and Low. I saw the fox mask. I, did you guys see the pancake? I don't see the pancake. I don't know if Zilver came back. Yeah, I don't know if Zilver came back. I'm not seeing the pancake. I see the fox mask. Zilver's in the third batch, oh no! It died? What died? You're not here, right? Oh no, Zilver, Zilver is in the third batch, no. Okay guys, well. Yes, oh thank you Richie. I had so much fun streaming today. Our dish was amazingly delicious. Thanks to all of you guys helping supervise me because I need it. <laughs> we have so many pots and pans right there right now. But um, yeah, we will wrap this up very soon. I think we're very close to the final, 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 final battle thanks now. Thanks for the fun day, Irene. You're doing well in the game and thanks for cooking oh, thank again you. today. See you next oh, time thank tonight. you guys. Yeah, well, thank you so much, meowing. Hope you guys had fun. Zilver, Frank and Lil, thank you so much for moderating. And Jay Blair, thank you so much for busily keeping my death count today. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on Tuesday for our workout stream. And yeah, if we don't do this on Tuesday, we'll probably do it Thursday. We have to work out though, because we haven't done a workout stream in a while. So we're gonna work out, gonna work out guys. But yeah, let's go raid Genie. Da, 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 da. But yeah, while I type this out, hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, fantastic P um, weekend. And uh, let's see. Raid, 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 raid now! Bye bye! Genie's offline. <laughs>